Have you ever sat through a presentation where your presenter throws up these huge charts like this? And of course, the first thing you do as an audience member is try to figure out the chart. So you're looking at the chart and you're, okay, is there a title? Is there a legend? What do the colors represent? Am I supposed to be understanding the series here? So, and all the while, the presenter is still talking, but you're not actually paying attention to the presenter because you're trying to figure out the chart. So what happens here and happens most often with presenters is they show too much information too soon. And what I want to show you with Keynote is how to work with charts and how to show your audience information in a way that allows them to focus on you rather than the chart. So let's get started. So again, I'm running Keynote 6.6. It is 6.6.1, which is current as of April 2016. Now, to insert a chart, pretty simple. You can either use the menu option here. You can go to insert and then chart. And then you can see there's 2D charts, there's 3D charts, and then there's interactives. If you like the toolbar, you can also, of course, use the toolbar option here. You can click on the insert chart option here. And again, you see there's 2D, 3D, and interactive. Looking through here, you'll notice there's pages here, and these pages are just different by way of color scheme. So, of course, you can change the color later. So, for this object or for this uh, presentation, let's just keep this simple with its general 2D pie chart. So, you'll notice a couple of things right away. Keynote actually doesn't center the chart object uh, right away. So, the reason they do this, they're assuming that you want to put a title above the chart, and whether you know whether you use a title or not is up to you. So for this instance, I'll just add a simple title myself manually. So let's just put this up here and call this Acme. Let's just call this Acme Sales uh, for 2015. I mean, who doesn't want a company named Acme, right? So. The next thing you'll notice again, the object isn't centered. So to, to center your chart, simply right click, click on a line and then click middle. Okay, so now we have our, our chart centered. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna enlarge the chart. I mean, no one wants to look at a small chart. So please make the chart as big as you can. Now, a lot of people will just grab the chart and they'll pull out to enlarge it and then they'll try and recenter it. But what you wanna do is actually hold down the shift and option key on your Mac keyboard and drag the resize handles here and you can notice it's getting much bigger. So again, holding down shift and option and dragging enlarges the chart from the center point and it also constrains the proportion. So this works for your standard pie charts and also your bar charts. Okay, cool. So we've centered the chart and we have it enlarged to max. So the next thing we want to do is edit our data. So you can see by default, when you click on the chart, uh, Keynote has already added some default data and for now it's actually in percentage points. So we can come down here to the bottom of the chart and click on edit chart data. So a couple things to note here in the chart data window is the plot series. So if you look in the top right hand corner of the chart data box, you can see you can plot the data or you can read the data by rows. Again, reading across the row. Okay, so right now we only have region one. It's giving you a preview here. But you click on the vertical column here, you can see it's reading the data vertically and there's already some preset columns here. Now, if you if you click on each header, you can see there's a couple options with the drop down menu here. So you can, there's a couple of cut, copy, paste, etc. So I'm just gonna delete a couple of these columns actually just to make this a bit simpler. So again, for this example, I'm going to just chart some data uh, and let's use quarters as an example. So. We're going to plot some data in terms of quarters. Again, depending on what you're doing, you can either use numerical data or you can use text data, depending on what you want to show. So now with that data chart, uh, our general chart highlighted and inserted, next thing you want to do is come up here to the top right corner and highlight your format options. So again, you can see we have the chart selected and under labels, you can click data point names. So of course you want data point names. We want our audience to understand right, or data point as soon as they look at them. And you can see the values, you can toggle those on and off. Obviously we want values. And right now it's in percentage points here, but I'll, let's change this to currency. And again, you can look at the, it's pretty straightforward in terms of the options. Do we need a, a thousand separators? No, I don't think so. Decimal points, I don't think so. Next down here, you have prefix and suffix. So again, I want this to be clear and straightforward right away. So again, when you're looking at this right now, 
you know, it's ninety one dollars. Is that you know ninety one million, ninety one thousand? What is it? So I'm gonna add a K as a suffix, and that's good for now. So this looks good to me. So again, I have first, second, third quarter, fourth quarter, and I have my dollar amount. So the next thing you want to do again, highlight your chart here, and then come up to the animation tab. So in Keynote, we can click on add an effect. And again, you can see it's broken down into sections. So you have the first section down up here, your middle section and your third section. Now, guys, please avoid the second and third options. These ones down here are really comical. I mean, your manager is going to think you're an idiot if you use one of these and your colleagues will just laugh at you. So try and stick to the ones up here. Yeah, they're kind of boring, but again, your, your CEO, your manager doesn't care really about your animation. So keep them simple. So let's just use a basic dissolve. Now, in terms of time, you can adjust the duration here in the top right corner. I'd suggest a 0.5 in terms of duration is pretty good. And you can also adjust the order. Now, the delivery here is key. Now, again, we want we don't, we don't want to throw up all the data on the chart all at once. What we want is to deliver the data by wedge. And you can see here, we can select build first to last. Again, you can adjust it, but obviously we want to go in order. And you can verify the order by clicking build order, build order down on the bottom here. So again, you can see it's going first, second, third, fourth, and that's what we want. And we're proceeding on click. You can see that when we do here. So again, when we're playing the presentation and we click, it's going to proceed first, second, third, fourth, which is what we want. So again, let's just test this out. So again, now, again, as a presenter, you can introduce your story. What is the story of your sales? So again, sales for Acme slide, et cetera, et cetera. We press the advance in first quarter. We had did 91 K et cetera, et cetera. This is what happened. This is what didn't happen. We had a good quarter. We didn't have a good quarter again. Next. Now we have the second quarter, et cetera, et cetera. Again, you can see how by doing this, you can control the flow of information. Again, nobody wants to sit there and listen to just boring numbers. People want to hear, understand the story behind the numbers or behind the quarter in, in this case. Again, proceed to the third quarter, et cetera, et cetera, and finish off with the fourth quarter. So there you go, guys. It's pretty easy to insert a chart into Keynote. There's some tips on, again, getting your chart centered, making it nice and big, adjusting your data, and building your animation to present the flow or the, the, the flow of the chart in a way that, again, just bite sizes. You don't want to throw up all over the slide but you want to explain the story behind the numbers. So again, you can use that again. It doesn't have to be numerical. You could always use text. So if you wanted to show again, sales numbers, if you want to show a product life cycle or a service cycle, you can use those techniques. So that's it for now, guys. I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments about keynote, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. That's it for now, guys. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.